everyone here knows about this game. The Red River rivalry is heated up. Touchdown, Texas! Touchdown, Sooners! Williams got him on the blitz! But there's something about one of the games in this rivalry that, well, most people don't know. I had heard this story before, but not in any kind of official or formal way. Everybody likes a good caper, and everybody wants to know something the other guy doesn't know. Call it the Cotton Bowl Caper. The year was 1999, and making his debut in the rivalry was a mysterious new character calling plays for OU. I know that we got to do anything we can to get an edge and to try to keep them off balance and try to get them to squander as many plays as we can. The Sooners were heavy underdogs, and on Wednesday night, just three days before the game, Leach had an idea. <laughs> More like a play script scheme. We wanted to just see how honest Texas was, so we decided to write up a script, a dummy script. The challenge for Leach in the decoy script was to come up with complementary plays to the actual one. So if you're running a play to the left, you wanted the decoy script to say something was going to the right. The next part of the plot? Call it the drop. Leach used one of his players pregame to deploy the decoy so Texas would be sure to find it. He's like, I want you to run past their sideline, and as you're running up the tunnel, I want you to take the script and act like you're putting it in your belt loop, and let it fall out onto the ground. It was kind of the first real, like, uh, espionage I'd ever been a, a part of. One of their GAs is wandering by, and, oh, what's this? A piece of paper. He looks at it, and his eyes get kind of big, and he sort of hides it and looks around to see if anybody saw him get it. Sure enough, the fake play script made its way straight to the Texas locker room. We all thought it was real because we thought that the alternative would, would be just so far-fetched uh, that, that somebody would go through the trouble to create a fake call sheet and actually leave it and drop it you know, where we would find it. Paul Reese takes it up to the press box. He starts studying the script, trying to figure out what defense they're going to call to match up the script. When I wasn't calling defenses, I was looking at it, and uh, it was a huge distraction. And on the second play of the game, the script says double reverse pass. We were trying to get them over there to the left. We hit Savage, and everybody was over to the left, and Savage was to the right. So on first down, Hyper wide open for freshman Savage. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It's very hard in the course of a football game to go back and see a wide receiver at any level of football that wide open. Going up top, Jackson one-on-one, -on -one, turns around with a catch to the end zone. As the game went on, it was a catastrophe. By the time it was 17-0 Sooners, huh? Coach Reese had seen enough of the so-called script. I grabbed it, watered up in a tight ball, and there was a trash can sitting over the corner. I'd give it a toss, and there it was. Got rid of it. After trashing the script and calling their original defenses, Texas outscored Oklahoma 38-11 the rest of the way. 48 yards come over to the end zone. Nearly 20 years later, the caper has come to light, and so has the lesson. The lesson is, is, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Don't ever try to pick up my scripts or steal my signals, because you don't know what may be in store for you.